Wait, but I think that what you said, I think when it comes to disrespect, there might be levels to it. Mm -hmm. And I think that black men and black women get disrespected far worse compared to white men. I think that, but see, that's the problem. I think that black women carry themselves that warrant disrespect more than white men, right? When you see the majority of people that have kids out of wedlock, it's black women. When you see um, the majority of what you see inside of strip clubs, that's attached to black women. Now there are white women that, that go into strip clubs, but ultimately the majority of what you see being celebrated as far as strip club culture, as far as the women that's the most visible. When you see white women, for example, I'll give you an example. When you see white women in music, you see Taylor Swift, right? You see um, Shania Twain. Kelly Clarkson, right? Mm -hmm. We see black Love women. Love me some Shania Twain. When we, and, and they don't even sing the same songs, right? Even the ones that we put on the pedestal as far as the, the highest selling. Let's take the Beyonce's. Let's take the Sierra's. Let's take all of them. They're still selling a culture of toxicity to the other women that follow them. They say, listen, single ladies do this or whatever, so on and so forth. And then they over there sitting there married, right? That's valid. And so when you start to see the cultural norms, it's not that black women are the most disrespected. It's they don't, the overwhelming majority of what we celebrate within culture, they're not celebrated because the ones that they pedestalize is the worst for us. It's just the truth. It's because they advocate for it. Well, it's because that's what it is that they 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 support the Cardi B's, right? Yeah, they studio gangsters. All of Correct. them. Studio when, I, when I brought Correct. up Stella James in a conversation, nobody had any love for her, right? Married, never been in a scandal, fits checks all of the boxes. Nobody cares about Savannah James, right? Mm -hmm. They care about all of the most ratchet ones. Correct. Come along with it. Those are the ones that celebrate it the most. And like as a species, people like claim that they don't want drama in their lives. But the truth is we all like a little bit of drama. So that 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 comes in hand to hand. And I don't know. I just think that like like as as a white dude myself, I'll say this. I'm I'm very aware. I can identify racism almost immediately at this point. And so like I will also what I'd like to say is. Racism does not discriminate. It comes in all colors. I'm from California, born and raised. If you're talking about a melting pot of a state in the nation, that's a melting pot. You will see colors and shades of every type of person. So the truth is, the, the preferences or racism, whatever you want to label it as, it comes in all colors. It's not just how America's turning into a black and white issue. Um, with that said carry yourself is exactly how you will be treated. That's the truth. And like, like how Carrie says that she hasn't experienced well, see, a lot of the fact of that like you have backlash to around that. this absolutely, absolutely substantiates my point. And I, see, say, and I will, I will say, add to that right. real quick. I'll, I'll agree with that. And you know why it's crazy. You have to tiptoe I'm, around I'm it. You can't say, say he is on a panel yes, full of black people, but, but, so, you know, exactly. of course he has to tiptoe around. Hold on, hold on. Hey. With that, I thought he was about to say racism, racism ain't real. I'm going to say. his words very hey, man, carefully like because, because then all of a sudden. <laughs> so check this out. I completely agree with that. And on top of that, I say more things that people think that they won't say. So if I feel like I have to tiptoe, and which I completely agree with you, and but I also am trying to tiptoe in the manner to be respectful of everybody included. But like how Carrie said, she's like, I haven't really dealt with a whole lot of backlash because in I've been on a panel with Carrie before. I totally understand. She's very well spoken. <clears throat> she she presents herself nicely. She's a nice looks go a long way. Let's be honest. Like she's a cute woman and all these things. And so like I was like, well, yeah, of course, she's not going to get backlash. She carries herself well. So well, she well, doesn't. Well, and I was, I was more so. Give me some ratchet ass Mary. I was I, I, no, 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 no. I agree. Q, I totally agree with that. Let me, yeah, let me yeah. get crazy too, but yeah. Of all the things that I've said on the internet, now I've said some crazy stuff all the way across the board about everybody. Black you can get men, away with a lot more women, than I could. White men, everything, right? Of all the things that I've ever said, right? I've said that black women is the biggest enemy of of black men. 
as far as how it is that. they treat them and take them to family court and all of this other type of stuff, right? You know what I've caught the most flack about? Supporting white people. If I say yeah, that I don't, I don't stand for racism, I align with people based off of their character and not necessarily what they look like, Oh mm. my God! But Anton, to mm. add to that, mm. you probably catch more. more heat from black folks from black folks than any oh, other yeah. people. Yeah. Oh, of course, yeah. Yeah. that's the truth. Yeah. Yeah. That's the truth. Yeah. 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 But, but think about that, though. Think about that. It's a segment of people that, if I hold women accountable, a, bl a black woman or a black man accountable, they'd be like, "Oh man, you know, I'm pissed off. Whatever, running in the victim Olympics." But oh, if I if I love me some good old milk of magnesia or some <laughs> bread. and and or, to add or, to that also Anton, or if I um, hold down a white man and I say he my homie, oh my god! <laughs> and also, right? don't, hey, don't say you Example. voted for Trump. Your motherfucking ass. Is oh, he already. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. He oh, yeah. Did. But see, my thing, him. my thing is, is being objective. It's some horrible people that's white. It's some great people that's white. It's some horrible people that's black. It's some Absolutely. great people that's black. But if I'm just being objective and I'm identifying the culture, right? Because the culture is the thing that people adopt, embrace, and then celebrate or promote across the board, which then makes it okay to be a certain type of way, then that's an issue. Because the individual behavior that you identify is automatically a tie tied to whatever it is that you believe from a cultural perspective. Correct. Right? Correct. So they group it all in one box, which then, in my opinion, more or less is a reflection of how other people think. If I say something and it triggers you, then it tells me how you think, not necessarily whether or not that I'm wrong or right. Right. So mm -hmm. I'm OK with it. Like I've already established myself that I don't care what other people think. <clears throat> and so the people that rock with me, they find, me. you know, they they. They tribal. So they're going to rock with me based off of the fact that they know that I'm going to be honest and not necessarily whether they agree or disagree with me. Because you, can, you can agree or disagree with your brother, but it doesn't mean that you're going you're gonna to disown him. Right. And just judge him and all that stuff. Yeah. Know. But I'm telling you, <clears throat> of the most unprotected group in America today, it is white men by a long shot. By and, and, a long shot. I don't know what everybody else talk, my nigga. <laughs> on a different note, like <laughs> on a different note, like to add to that, one of the one of the people that I enjoy listening to the most is Kevin Gates. Kevin Gates has a beautiful way of presenting his his opinion to things, but he he says like he'll catch the most heat from black folks, the most heat. He's like, man, they hate on me more than any of the white people and stuff. And like I said before, like there is racism. It's here. Like it's part of it's part of human nature. At, wait, who? Honest. But wait, wait, who? Kevin what Gates, you just said? No, no, no. What you just said? Black folks hating on black folks. So this is why I don't agree with Anton. Like. Because I think I get more flack. I went to a white college, been around white people, and the, the more hate was from black women. And I still think that the but person- why? Why, why do they hate is the question. I don't I, know. I, think, I, think I don't contrary. get hate if I'm on code with other black people. I get hate when I have an opinion that's different from other black people. Oh, yeah, that's I don't even true. think it's that. that. I, I think Correct. white people. I think contrary to what Carrie said, they don't loot, um, group all black people together. They, they they look at you, they size you up and see how you act, and then they treat you accordingly. I've never experienced racism, but most of y'all motherfuckers will call me white as well. 